So I thought I would do something different with this video. Uh, a turntable came in for one of the shops and it was a general, just kind of basic evaluation of it. Turntable is fine, it's a Sherwood, um, definitely a, a budget model. Um, but the dust cover was in, is in kind of rough shape and what I thought would be interesting to do is, I'm gonna mask half of this off and I'm going to sand one half and then buff one half and kind of sh and kind of give a comparison, right? Kind of a before and an after. Now I will go back and, and do this side after that's all done, I'll mask it off again and then even it up and, and, and you know, kind of make sure that it looks good. But I thought it'd be really cool to kind of see like right down the middle, right? What this would look like. So I'm going to mask this off at the midway point like so and I'm just doing the top and as you can see got a pretty significant scratch here I can get that pretty significant scratch here now I'm not gonna be able to remove that I'd have to remove a ton of plastic but you can kind of see where it's pretty it's pretty beat up it's pretty beat up hit it with some Windex first clean it off and then get started now what I'm going to do initially is wet sand with 2000 grit so this is the 2000 grit paper then wet sand with 3000 and finally wet sand with 5000 then I'm gonna hit it with my buffer and we're gonna see what it looks like before and after so hey there are my dogs barking you must hear me talking in the garage so anyway um, I'm gonna speed through that and then we'll kind of uh, have some stop points throughout the video and talk about uh, our progress. So I'm going to pull the tape off just so we can see kind of the line between both sides. Now you can see how by roughing this up with the sandpaper it's actually kind of created a not really a film but you know kind of looks like there's a film over it which is normal. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to put another piece of tape down because that one got wet. Put another piece of tape down and then I'll buff this side out and then we'll look at side-by-side -side comparison again. So just to point out though, before I do that, um, scratch here, I'm gonna dull the scratch, you can still see it in there, but um, hopefully when we buff it, it, uh, it hides that a little bit better. So uh, on to buffing it. So there you have it. Kind of hard to tell with the towel behind it. 
But if we remove the tape, let's see the difference from side to side. Let's see if it was worth the 15 or 20 minutes of work. So left side is not buffed, and you can kind of see the line between the two, right? So it's uh, it's pretty clean. You know, that big scratch there was knocked down quite a bit. You can still, well, you can barely make it out. I don't know if you can even see it on camera, but it barely kind of goes up. But it just kind of stops there at the line. So I would say that, uh, I would say that looks pretty good. So that's kind of how I do it. I go through progressions of sandpaper, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000. Then I go through progressions of scratch remover, um, finishing with scratch X, and um, and then just kind of buffing it off with uh, microfiber cloth. So hopefully you found this entertaining. Now I'm going to do the other half to even this thing out. And uh, I'm not going to film that, but I will show you what it looks like when I'm all done. Okay, so I just finished kind of evening the dust cover up as much as I could. And what I did on the left side is um, I did the same thing that I did on the right side um, with the exception um, of doing the la after the last pass, I should say. I just kind of hit the whole dust cover one time with some scratch X just to even even everything up. So it's quite a bit cleaner. There's still the pretty heavy scratches around the emblem in the middle. And there's still some scratches around the emblem in the middle, but um, it's much, much better. Now, if this were a high-end turntable, or if I wanted to try to get every imperfection out. I mean, you just kind of rinse and repeat everything that I did, right? So instead of two passes with the sandpaper, maybe you do six passes with the sandpaper, right? And you just kind of keep going until you get out or you hide really, because you're just kind of hiding the scratches, hide the scratches as much as you can. But you know, this is a, this turntable is probably a hundred dollars on a, on a good day, on its best day, it's worth a hundred bucks. So, and it wasn't, it really didn't take that long, maybe I'd say 45 minutes from start to finish to do this one. And that was, you know, shooting the video and I change out the bonnets. So I change out the bonnets with each polishing compound that I use. So, you know, that's time consuming as well. So, but anyway, that's uh, it's kind of a before and after and how I polish these dust covers. So uh, if you like what you see, uh, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time.